In this section of the second grade join and separate equal groups unit, students will pair concrete objects to determine if a number is even or odd. An even number is a number represented by objects that when paired have zero left over, such as four. There are two pairs of objects with zero left over. An odd number is a number represented by objects that when paired have one left over, such as five. There are two pairs with one left over. In second grade, the focus is on the conceptual understanding of even and odd numbers. It is expected that students will use concrete objects organized in pairs to represent numbers up to 40 to determine whether the number is even or odd, rather than learning a rule. Materials include linking cubes, 10 frames, and even or odd spinners. Students will use linking cubes to determine whether numbers are even or odd up to the number 10. While reading the pairs of shoes story, students should use linking cubes in a 10 frame to represent each number from the story. Students should create as many pairs of linking cubes as is possible for a given number rather than placing the linking cubes in some other arrangement on the 10 frame. For example, both of these 10 frames have six linking cubes. However, in this example, the linking cubes have not been paired, so we do not want students representing the six like this. We want students creating as many pairs of linking cubes as is possible with the six cubes. After representing a number with linking cubes, students should create the model on the recording sheet and determine whether the number is even or odd. There are three pairs of linking cubes with zero left over, so six is an even number. Here's another example. Seven has been represented with pairs of objects on a 10 frame. We can see that there are one, two, three pairs, but there is one cube left over. Seven is an odd number because there are three pairs with one cube left. Students are expected to determine whether numbers are even or odd with numbers up to 40 by pairing concrete objects such as linking cubes. Spinners have been provided that can be used to generate numbers. Students can be flexible in how they represent and model a given number to determine whether it is even or odd. For example, a student may count 31 individual linking cubes and pair them on 10 frames. A student may represent 31 with groups of five and one left over. Another student may represent 31 with groups of 10, groups of five, and one left over. After representing 31, students should determine whether the number is even or odd. Regardless of the representation that was created, students should notice that there are 15 pairs of cubes and one cube left over. Five pairs, 10 pairs, 15 pairs, one left over, five, 10, 15 pairs, one left over, 10, Five more makes 15 pairs, one left over. 31 is odd because there are 15 pairs and one left over. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.